I think I, I gather most of my inspiration just from everyday life. You know, I never go out setting to write about a theme or anything like that. It's just um, I've been told that I'm really just honest with my feelings. If I'm really struggling with something, if I'm really down or if I'm really depressed or I'm broken or if I'm really happy and joyful, it comes out in my writing. Whatever I'm feeling or going through, um, through relationships, friendships, um, people around me, things that they're going through. It rained that day in that January cage Where my whole world came to crash and change I've come to find, yeah I've come to find That this whole world just don't treat you right uh, Well I'm pretty much, uh, I write Christian acoustic pop type style of music uh, but I love all different styles of music and I try to meld as many styles into my music as possible from you know acoustic folk to more British um, electric kind of pop rock as well as you know even little hints of R&B uh, I like really percussive melodies I really um, love percussive vocals so I I try to blend as many styles of music as possible because I really love a lot of different styles but if I was to funnel it into one it would be kind of Christian acoustic pop all the pleasure and the pain sometimes I wonder is it all just a game walking around with all the memories all they want me all they really want is I want love I want to dream all the stars in a row story. I didn't end up doing anything musical until I was 20 years old. Uh, I grew up not in a musical family. I grew up in a small town where music wasn't really a big part of life. I was heavy into sports and then my sophomore year of college um, my roommate had an extra acoustic guitar laying around and I always was really fascinated by music but never had an option to learn and uh, I picked it up and I just fell in love with it and my life changed and uh, everything from there happened really fast. My first independent record was released a year after I picked up guitar and singing for the very first time. So it all happened really, really quickly. I've been touring independent full time for the past eight, nine years now. And uh, like I said, this, this new record is my first national release where uh, it's getting national attention with magazine, TV shows and things like that. And um, curious to see where it goes, but uh, yeah, it, it Music was really zero, a zero part of my life until I was 20 years old, my sophomore year, and then it, and then it completely changed the course of my life. So it's, it's pretty sweet. I found love. I found the love that created the stars. Just waiting.